with Stacy and Frenzy and Cutter. And we wanted to talk about Valentine's Day. So these two have been Valentine's for a long time. They've been good friends and they love each other. They love to play and wrestle. They wrestle a lot. They beat up on each other a lot. They have a lot of fun together. They don't generally hurt each other. They just play really rough and have fun. But they've also learned a lot to be trained together and they know how to behave if I have treats. I have a hard time getting them to behave without treats. Cutter, Frenzy, Cutter, Cutter, Cutter. So I can get them sitting together. It's hard. It's not easy because they have their puppies. They don't have very good attention spans, but they do like to have fun together. Come here. Come on. So when I put sit, sit, sit off. But what I wanted to show you is how they get away with some bad behavior when they're with each other because it's harder to correct one puppy off, off than it is two. So I can get them to behave a little bit better by themselves. But together, they're a little naughty. But they love each other. Come here, come here, come here. They have a lot of fun. We just went on a sit. See how they copy each other? He jumped up on me, and then she jumped up on me. They're goofballs that way, guys. There are a lot of dogs. Hey, 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 hey. They do argue, but they like to play. that's like that? Better. They're going to tangle themselves up. They're kind of crazy. But I got to make sure I don't get in the middle of them playing because they'll hurt me. Because they are big dogs. Even though they're puppies, they're big dogs. But Frenzy and Cutter have been best friends for a very long time since they were babies. And so they know each other really well. And they play really well together. They have a good time. But I don't walk them together very often because this is what they do. So it's important to get dogs out by themselves to play so they don't do this to you the entire time. Oh my goodness. So I want to talk about Valentine's Day. These two are, these two are going to send each other a Valentine's Day card. What do you think we should write on it? What do you think they should write to each other in the Valentine's Day card? Should they, tell, they, should they say that they like walking, running on the beach and playing in the sand together? Or swimming? They've all, they've done lots of different things together. Cutter's come over and played with Frenzy at her house, and she plays with him at her house all the time. They have a good time together, and they'll probably stay friends for a long, long time. And because we keep playing, them playing together. Come here, Cutter. Are you guys going to write any Valentines to, to other friends of yours? Frenzy will be sending out some Valentines to all of her friends, which we've seen a lot of them on your videos each week, haven't we? With Cutter and Raider and Rosie, the Golden Retriever, her cousin, uh, Ella, the Labrador, and we've got George, which is Cutter's older brother. Come here, Cutter. We've got lots of different dogs that frenzies played with and had friends and last week was Iger and Emmy all sorts of different friends that have come and joined frenzy on her adventures so think about who you enjoy in your life that's your valentine and what's important to tell them to tell them that you care about them and that you are glad that they're in your life if they're friends that you haven't seen because you're not in school send them an email or a message to say hi Happy Valentine's Day, because we don't have that in, we're not in the class this year, so you guys won't see your friends for Valentine's Day. So it's important to make sure that they know that you are, you enjoy being their friend. So make sure that you reach out to those that you, that you enjoy, that they're friends of yours or family, your parents, siblings, cousins, 
let them know that you are thinking about them and you enjoy their time and that you wish you could spend more time with them when this pandemic is over because we will be able to soon and to sit, spend time because these guys are dogs they can spend more time together uh, it's a little different than humans right now but when we get back to things as normal you'll be able to spend more time with those that you enjoy and that you love so make sure that you write those valentines anyway and send them maybe via the computer or if you call someone send them a text there's lots of things you can do to send those valentines and make sure people know that you're thinking about them and that you care so frenzy will send out a few valentines and uh, you can see uh, at the end of this video but i'm going to also show kind of the from when frenzy and cutter first met to now when they're both seven months old they met when they were probably nine ten weeks old and i'll start with the video we can watch them grow up together as best friends so happy valentine's day you guys make sure that the people that you like in your life that are your valentines make sure they know it and send them a cool valentine this year right frenzy good girl Newton. yeah good girl right cutter come here they want to say goodbye to you guys this way sit cutter. sit good dog Five. yeah good boy Happy Valentine's Day, guys.